Hey guys, I just want to tell you about Surf 2. It's a very thin WebKit 2 sort of wrapper. Um, it's just like one C file, as you can see there, and it has some cool options, which I feel um, Firefox can do with an add-on, which is usually quite clunky and slow and memory hog. And Chrome, I don't think, has this feature either. And the cool thing about it is that you can override the style sheet. You see the styleder and the default uh, is default.css and obviously you can you can uh, have different style sheets for different sites the matching a regex so let me give you a practical example how you would use this say you have a website that has something undesirable like this this horrible sidebar and I just um, I inspected it I, I know the I know the uh, what do you call it the CSS class is called dot sidebar right here and I just want to remove it um, and you, the reason why I want to remove it is to have more real estate, maybe um, um, have it on a big screen. And that's a real case actually. So here in this sort of window here, I'm going to uh, have a default.css and I already have a dot sidebar display now and you might be thinking, why isn't it working? Why isn't it hiding that sidebar? You need to set a higher priority um, because obviously some style sheets don't actually that you can't actually make sure that a certain style sheet loads uh, at the very end actually you have to set a priority and this is how you do it a very strange syntax you might be thinking not important and um, no this is the way to s set that particular uh, CSS style rule as, as as a higher priority and now if I reload surf you can see the sidebar is gone so I hope this little tutorial um, sort of enthused you about um, Surf, um, a great little um, browser for, for showing con web content. And um, I hope you find this video useful.